YouTube! It is Booktubeathon weekend, Christmas Booktubeathon to be exact, and even though there weren't video challenges for this particular readathon, I wanted to update you guys on how it's been going and how much of a struggle it's been for me and how I'm kind of a mess, which is why I haven't showered and my bed isn't made. Okay, here's, here's what's going on. So this was my initial TBR. This these three books were the ones that I set out to read. This was my book with red and green on the cover. This was the book I've been meaning to read all year and hadn't gotten around to yet. And this was the book that had been gifted to me and I had not read yet. So I started the Booktubeathon Friday night because I was busy Friday during the day with Ruby Red and I really wasn't getting into it and one of our friends was having a Christmas holiday party and so we decided to stop by for a little bit and ended up being there for three hours. In fact, we were there for three hours because there was this game show element in which Joe and I made it all the way to the very end and won. So I didn't go home for a long time. So that obviously cut into my reading. I came home, I went to bed, I woke up Saturday, I kept reading Ruby Red and I just didn't like it. I found out that not only was it translated from German, which I think sort of maybe some things got lost in translation, but also is meant for a much younger age demographic than I thought it was. I thought it was more like a selection type series, but it, it reads much younger. So I ended up putting this one down, which was very painful for me to do partway into the book Tubathon, not really knowing what I was going to do instead. So rather than figuring it out, I just moved on to Veronica Mars. I loved this book. I loved it a lot. I read it all on Saturday basically in one sitting. It felt so much like the show. I just really, really enjoyed reading it. And so I knocked out one book and then I needed to figure out what I was doing next. So I decided initially to replace Ruby Red with this graphic novel because it's nice and short and it still has red and green on the cover. And I opened it and I just sort of felt like I was giving up a little bit reading a short book and I really wanted to read another book. So rather than sticking with the theme of a book with red and green on the cover, I ended up picking up The Winner's Curse just because I went upstairs and was like, what sounds good? What am I going to read a bunch of if I pick this up right now? So I grabbed The Winner's Curse. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, you know, a bit of the way into it so far and I have all of Sunday today to get through this. I'm confident that I will do that, but it leaves me with one more book that I have to read. I picked up Gunslinger last night, actually, before The Winner's Curse. I'm getting out of order here. And I, a friend of mine sent this to me a really long time ago, and she said that I would love it, and I probably would enjoy it. It just, I don't know, for some reason I have an aversion to the cover, and it doesn't really feel like the type of book I'm normally into, and so in the midst of all of these booktubeathon struggles and worrying that I'm not even going to have books that fit the themes, I just sort of decided that maybe this one wasn't going to happen, so I set it aside. I've got all these books. I don't know what to do. I'm going to finish The Winner's Curse, but once I finish The Winner's Curse, I will only have read The Winner's Curse and Veronica Mars. I need one more book. I haven't read a book with red-green on the cover. I haven't read a book that's been gifted to me. At the very least, I'll have complete the challenges, read the book you've been meaning to read all year, and hopefully read three books. I don't know what my third book's gonna be. I don't know, guys. I'm such a mess. It's been a tough week. I've had a lot going on this week, and so Booktubeathon sort of snuck up on me, and even though I was just so pumped for it, I was not as ready as I thought I was because my TBR ended up being a disaster. So I'm happy I finished Veronica Mars. I'm gonna go finish The Winner's Curse basically right now, and then I'm come hell or high water, gonna find a third book to read. I mean, maybe it'll just end up being my graphic novel. And actually, actually, The Winner's Curse was recommended to me by my friend Mallory, so I'm gonna go ahead and count that as my gifted book, because recommended kind of counts, so off the hook for that one. So the only thing I still need to do is read a book with red and green on the cover, so we'll see if I do that or not. I'll be talking about it on Twitter if you want to keep up with my progress with the Booktubeathon. Last night, actually, I ran the, the actual Booktubeathon Twitter from 9 p.m. to midnight Pacific time, and it was a lot of fun. We sort of had like a sleepover party. People were sending in pictures of their jammies, and then we had people sending in pictures of them sleeping on their books. It was just a lot of fun. So if you were involved in that, thank you for making my hosting time a lot of fun and memorable. And I'm just super enjoying Booktubeathon, even though I was just like such a machine during the summer Booktubeathon. I like finished early, it was great, and I, I don't even know. I might not finish, but I'll have finished two books at least, so we'll see. Anyway, this has been my Booktubeathon update. Hope you guys are doing well. If you wanna talk about books with me more often, all the time, whatever. I've got a book club on Goodreads called The Restricted Section that you should go check out and join because we do a lot of really fun stuff there. And now I'm gonna go read The Winner's Curse because I'm stressed out and I don't, I don't have anything else to say. All right, bye guys. <laughs>